Leading up to uh, tonight's uh, Iowa caucuses, we all know that the Republican candidates have been debating this year. More than a dozen debates all across the country, and out of those debates uh, came, I would say, Nora, some of the uh, defining moments for this campaign. We had, there were record viewership of all yep. of these debates. CBS had a debate joining us now who's going to talk about some of these moments as we walk down memory lane. Frank Luntz, of course, president and CEO of Luntz Global. So, Frank, let's start out with one of the moments from the debate um, that was probably one of the most cringeworthy, I guess we could call it, when Rick Perry had trouble remembering uh, which uh, agencies he was going to eliminate. Let's listen. Education, uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce, and let's see, oh I can't. The third one, I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. And it goes on and on and on. And I was doing a dial session. I had 30 people sitting watching it. And first they started to laugh. Then they started to get horrified. And finally, they felt embarrassed on his behalf. Right. It's the most incredible. They expect you to have the answer, to be sitting up here and have the answer at your fingertips. And if you don't, they punish you for it. Yeah, and it was, it's been devastating for his campaign, correct? I'm not sure he ever got over that. He didn't, but, but Rick Perry was not prepared. He raised more money in one month than any presidential candidate. He should have spent the time preparing for these debates. Returning to the debates, another key moment was this exchange between Governor Perry and Mitt Romney. Watch. They want Anderson, to hear you say uh, uh, that you knew would you, you please, had would you please wait? Are you just going to keep your, talking? Yes, Are you going to let me finish with my, what I have to say? Look, Rick. Now, people sort of liked that because it was them sort of arguing at one another. But what did it tell us about them? Well, with all due respect, Republicans looked at that and didn't like it at all. To them, the opposition is Barack Obama, not each other. Right. And the hostility and the fact that they talked over each other, they thought that they were immature, they thought that they were trying to score needless political points, and they resented it. In fact, of all the moments that we tested in every debate, that one you just showed was the one that made Republicans the angriest. Really? Interesting. And now another moment that you say tested well was uh, a moment from Newt Gingrich, who we talked to this morning. Let's listen. I think those are questions that a lot of people want to hear answers to, and you're responsible for your record, sir. Well, if I get a rebuttal, Pardon? I think that there's too much attention paid by the Plus Corps about the campaign minutia and not enough paid by the Press Corps to the basic ideas that distinguish us from Barack Obama. You can hear the applause. Beating up on the media. There was the, there was a Fox debate, and they booed. A, a conservative audience actually booed Fox News. Now, later on, they said that this was one of the better debates because they held the candidates accountable. But what Newt Gingrich did was he turned the question into opposition to the media, and conservatives do like that. All right. Thank Frank you. Luntz, thanks for bringing your shoes along with Bob's purple socks this morning. Always worth I think we can get a quick shot of that. Uh, there we go. There we go. I do what that because day. of TCU. I know. All and right. Mine are, and mine are now tax deductible. More great <laughs> moments coming up.